Alright, cool. Five. I'm taking the Cayenne. Take it. Key's in it. It's running. Key's in it. It's running. That's Good what diesel dudes do. You know, they don't turn them off. Because they say starters cost more than diesel. Back in the day. There you go. Watch out. Not right now. You want me to do the interview first? Wait, wait, wait. So tell me what's happening. Well, the car looks pretty, it looks quick, and it looks like it spin tires very well. So, we're gonna find out what diff Tommy put in this thing. Oh. Not enough. Not enough. Hold on, we got it. Tommy, he stole your oh. <laughs> Tommy, he stole your car. <laughs> you didn't like second. Looks like it's a first gear only one. <laughs> Too gripped up. <laughs> yeah, I, you you cleaned out the asphalt here pretty good. We right? got some Contis. Some Contis. What are these? Some some two forty fives. Some two forty fives. You should have spun these. Good job uh, turning it around for us. We needed that for our next shot, dude. Yeah. yeah, we really did, though. Jim, Jim, he's, uh, he's a very good uh, precision driver. Perfect. So what's up? We're back. We're back with yeah. a new car. Well, it's good to see you because last time we had a chance to hang out, we actually had a chance to check out the 270R, Yeah. which unfortunately you sold, sold it. it. Got to keep Wait, moving. Is, is that a uh, is that public knowledge yet? Oh yeah, yeah, it's all, okay. It's all, all right. That was so cool to see in terms of like rare S chassis. But I don't know how you do it, man. Because like if I built a car this nice for a giveaway car, I wouldn't be able to give it away. Oh, yeah. Because this is a dream car right here. This is like legit dream car status. I'm such a big S chassis fanboy. I've had two S13s but I've never had a Type X like this. This is so cool. The whole point, the whole reason I do giveaways is so I can experience a car without the like financial burden, right? Like you build a car like this, you got 30 grand, 35, 40 grand into it. And then you can't really ever sell it for that much, but the beauty of the giveaways, you recoup your money, some other person gets a little piece of you. And then if I really love it, I can go find another one. You know, these aren't rare per se. So, it's, it's kind of perfect. Yeah, so this one is done up from the ground up. How did this start? I, I know you were saying it was pretty bad. It was like a roach. One year ago, I bought this at the Invitational last year. Remember the Invitational last year? I don't know if you saw any content because you weren't here. Right. So Adam set up a jump to like mix people up. This car went off the jump, but it was stock suspension, all that. The sun had faded it. It was all stock. And the Type X everyone's used to is the Koki. It's got the wing, the skirts, the valances. This car was like a, a pre Koki. I don't know if there's Zenki and Chuki and all that, but this car was an early 180, and it, it is a 180. Um, so it came with the SR, which 180s usually come with a CA18. That's why they're 180s, 1.8 liter. But then at some point they changed them to an SR. So this car had an SR. It was a great base, no rust, needed paint, and needed the Type X kit. So the kit consists of the wing, the it balances. But so, this, this is a last year, model year? Yeah, so the coolest thing about 
Nissan in the 90s. In 1998, you could walk into a dealer and see every generation S chassis brand new. This, they stopped these in 98. They stopped the Koki in 98, S14, and they stopped the S15. There were some early 99s in the dealership. So this was the final, not the final year, the final iteration of the 180. Had the wing, these taillights with, this is OEM carbon Kevlar piece in the middle. That's an add-on, normally it's just no black. No way. For yeah. This whole time, I thought this was aftermarket. No, this is a Nissan part. So uh, wing, taillights, this was a, an option. The valance and the, and the spats, then the side skirts, uh, and then the front bumper, which is a crazy, it's like 12 pieces. It's the bumper, the lip, there's all these lights and brackets, there's this piece on the fender. It's like absurd how many pieces go into making the front bumper, but it just looks so good. It's, it's so good. New Had to buy a brand new bumper, the lights, there's like um, a support beam, the bumper beam, like everything. I, had, I bought all that stuff's available. Side skirts, rear balances, wing, all that stuff's not available. So I had to source that stuff. Mm, okay. So you know what, what we're known for, right? I'm sorry? What are we known for? You guys are known for, I don't know, OEM Plus? Doing the bays. Doing, yeah, doing the bays. So, but th this kind of goes to the whole thing. Like I said, you're building this thing. And it's, honestly, for me, it's kind of sad to see it go away. But yeah. you do such a good job of making it way better than it was from the factory. Like it was never meant to look this good from the factory. All right, ready? I, I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen anything. Whoa. So the only thing that right now we don't love is the battery setup, but we're working on that. That was kind of a last minute thing. So we kept the factory air box. We are deleting the math. We tried to make it look like, you know, like a Japanese build, but clean. Kind of a little bit like my uh, R32. Huh? Exactly. This this uh, definitely reminds me of that, but the bay looks so nice, and it looks Brand like you got new, new like yep. all new plastic, all new. Covers. So all that stuff we refinished. All the this stuff is really hard to find. The fuse box covers and stuff like that we refinished. Wiring specialists came through, gave us a harness, and then radium with a fuel system. Everything else, uh, it's got an S15 turbo and a Gretti front mount. We made it black and kept the airbox, so it almost looked factory. It's so clean. It's good. It, it turned out really good. Jeez. So this is just like dabbling. Like the, the factory shield, you yep. did all that stuff Jet too. hot coated that, just like your stuff. Incredible. The Gretti front mount fit without cutting a single thing except for the hole in the battery tray, which I don't love doing. But once I saw they did it on the 270R, I kind of felt like I got a pass. You know? I see. So they did that from the factory. From the factory, Nissan just hole sawed a hole through the battery tray. So then I was like, well, I guess if they can do it, I can do it. So is this the original motor that came? This in was the original motor. We did um, all the maintenance in the video. Well, I'll just say it. We did replace oil pump in the video. It looked like we didn't. We did put a new oil pump. Um, it's got an S15 turbo, Gretti intake manifold, just because I it's prettier, not because of power. It probably hurts us to be, I don't know. Because at this power level, it's probably not that beneficial at least. Um, Gretti front mount and then factory airbox. So the biggest thing is the S15 turbo. Full exhaust. We just dynoed it yesterday. It made 252. When you drive it, you're gonna be like, this is the most 200 fun 252 horsepower car ever. Well, it's gonna feel like a thousand horsepower. Yeah, in the race. race. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, had to do the bronze tees. Yeah. They're uh, they're they're not a double stagger. They're staggered height. So 17922 in the front. And then you might remember the rear ones. They were on the Golf R. What about the brakes? Did you have to refill? R33 them? GTST brakes. A little bit bigger, a little bit prettier. This is like the best version of this car. Dude, ever. wait till you drive it. You're gonna be like, this is this so is fun. This is so cool. So rears. Those are off the Golf. 18.939. We need to space them a hair, um, but they look pretty good. They work pretty well. It's really hard to get 18 inch matching blast bronze. We couldn't find the right spec and luckily I had the Golf R ones. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's just so good. So good. Interior, we left just stock except for that personal wheel. Well, hold on. Did you have to refinish a lot of the interior? Yeah, we cleaned stuff up, I bought some stuff, but look at that uncracked dash, that's super rare. Was that already in it? Yeah, I got lucky. That's like part of the reason. There's, I put some thought into the, the pre-car, you know, before we get into it. If it had a cracked dash, I probably wouldn't have chose this car because it just, you can't work around a cracked dash, you know? Yeah, I mean, these dashes are going for a lot of money. Yeah. Cracked. Whoa, it even has the privacy cover. Yep. This car was all stock, vacuum lines across the radiator. I was, it was the perfect base car. Incredible. Rain is picking up good, huh? 
So, and then what about the exhaust? Uh, HKS, I forget what we have, just some aftermarket downpipe and then HKS exhaust. It's pretty quiet. It's like perfect. You can shred back roads without alerting the neighbors, you know what I mean? Did you ever, like, is this a dream build for you? Like, you've always wanted to build a 180SX like this? I have a problem where, like, I see one, and I'm like, maybe I don't want to drive it, but I want to do, it's like Hot Wheels, or like, if you were, I just want to do this, and then get it out of my system, and like I said, if I love it, I'll buy another one, maybe a more rare color or something like that, uh, and look for the perfect one and just for a keeper. But yeah, I used to hate the hatches. When I was younger, I was like, ah, I can't do a hatch. I like the coupes, I, I went back and forth. And now I think I like the hatches the most. I think this car. I mean, what sells it for me is the taillights. Yeah. It's just so special looking. They're I think so they look good. great. They look so good at night. Like they look almost, I don't want to say like a GTR, but they have that like twin, yeah. you know, the, the rings, uh, the, the circles. They look so cool. Honestly, looks way, way better than the USDM ones. Yeah. But then again, I know in Japan, they like to run the USDM ones. Dude, the fact that this car, that Nissan built this like body kit is, it's like my favorite thing about Nissan. Like this wing on this, this is an economy car. That's how I always see 240s. You know yeah. what I mean? They were like a sports economy car. This wing is crazy to come out of the fact, I think, crazy. And then like the valve, like it looks so boring without the kit and you put the kit on it, completely different car. Yeah, I, one of my favorite videos uh, growing up you know, watching um, Option and Best Motoring was the one where uh, Ken Nomura like goes to the Nissan factory and takes a white one of these out from the assembly line and like drifts the parking lot. Really? Like a brand new car. Yeah, I never saw it. You know, that. and it, it just kind of goes to show the performance aspect and also the enthusiast base or what they were building them for back then you know they're so good and the sr like if you keep it simple is so responsive at this power level you know everyone wants to go bigger turbo make more power but you're gonna i don't know i mean your 240z as an sr right what turbo's on that uh gt28 so even that is like it's good but when you drive this you make the response is crazy it doesn't even make sense but it doesn't make a lot of power it makes 252 horsepower i mean that's for this, for it being a street car, this yeah. could be somebody's daily driver. Well, the other thing is um, we try to keep in mind that like, this isn't done. If you win this car, it is completely set up to go to the next level because it's got a hall tech in it. It's got a thousand CC injectors. It's got the exhaust. It's got all the base pieces that if you just threw a turbo on this, like a 2871 or 2863, you can make it make 350, you know, with your eyes closed. So you did crack open the motor no nope. we just did the oil pump we did all the maintenance the engine stayed completely head on everything we didn't even do a head gasket just because we weren't running a lot of boost um if someone wanted to even at 350 i don't think it needs a head gasket you know the crazy thing is to me like the srs in general are worth so much more now oh, you yeah. know they used to be a thousand dollars right you can get a s13 sr now who knows how much just the motor is worth i mean the this car imported was 16 grand with an sr like i don't know what the car is worth now but what's your guess 30. 30. i mean only because the market's strange for these cars somebody who really likes a red type x like whatever they might pay more but i think like the the community would value the car between 25 and 35 grand so you think you've put in about 15 grand i got more than that probably plus time well, yeah, we're probably cool. I mean, the TEs are four grand. We got coilovers, we got all that stuff. So the brakes, you know, it's probably, yeah, I probably have 35 total into the car. Probably have 20 plus what I paid for the car. I mean, I like this. This is the more obtainable sort of build that I yeah. can relate to, too, you know? And, and that's also probably why, you know, it would be, it's a good giveaway car. Yeah. You know, it's one thing to give away a full blown race car with a thousand horsepower. 
what are they going to even do with it? Well, they'll probably I, just flip it around and sell it right away. Because it's too much. Yeah, this is something that you can actually enjoy. I think a lot of people get ahead of themselves when they get into a build and they focus on power, they focus on this. Like, we just focus on the original car. I think once it's all out, someone's be like, oh, I can't put that S15 turbo on. I got to go bigger. And then it just turns into like a thing. And I think that's why 90% of builds don't even get finished. With this car, you'll get in it and be like, wow, like this is, this is how it should have been. This is how it should be. It's really fun. But like manageable, gets good gas mileage. It's, I think it's awesome. That's cool. Well, you you want to take it for a rip in the yeah. rain? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to drive it? All right, I'll drive it. Here Hell we yeah. go. This actually has AC. Uh, we have to charge it while we're down here. We didn't. We ran out of a uh, refrigerant. God. But yeah, it has it all in there. So. Clutch is not too bad. It's an exit. Oh. I miss driving S chassis. They're so cool. This is just like simplicity. 90s yep. simplicity. The rain sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's got, it's, it's it got, it definitely a, feels like a thousand horsepower. It's got an R, uh, Sard R2D2 blow up valve. That's OG. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, you, you just don't know how much traction you have. No, but it, uh, it's pretty I good. Mean, it feels good. Wait, I should probably turn on the headlights. Oh, pop up headlights. <laughs> I love those. Yeah, I love like right now if you put it in fourth, and just like lightly get on. I love the response. It just feels so, I don't know. It yeah, just feels it so smooth and like responsive. It definitely doesn't feel as laggy as my car. Yeah. Your car like it starts building torque and stuff. Yeah. This is just more like linear. I don't know. I love SRs. <laughs> yeah. 250 horsepower. And like these tires are good. Like we're, yeah. we're not running excessive camber. It, it's it's good. It's really good. Yeah, you could flip it. Well, maybe not over there. What no, the hell is all that? What the hell that is? They're doing some Florida way, stuff. Maybe. Yeah. Surprise! It actually has traction. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. It's because it doesn't make a ton of torque. I think yeah. it made. Uh, I think it made 230 foot pounds of torque, 252 horsepower on a Mustang. S15 turbos usually max out around 300 wheel. Like if you send them. I would definitely drive this every day. Dude. Yeah, it's this such a good so like. It just, and it's not even that, the fast no, car. There's no drama. For me, it's just the way it looks. Yeah. And what it is. There you go. Yeah. The noises. It sounds great. It's really quiet. Yeah, You're that's right. what I like. I Why like that. Why is it so quiet if it has an HKS exhaust? It's just an HKS, they call them uh, super silent. Oh. They make like, um, they used to have a, they, they had a, a, a line called the legal, like something legal. And it was like them trying to be kind of compliant, kind of like stay off the radar. Yeah. Um, and then they, I think they turned it into the silent, like super silent. Got it. Um, it's a full, uh, I think it's like 2.9 inches. It's like normal size exhaust. It just, they muffle it and put yeah. a resonator in it. I love it. I love Maybe I need that for my R32. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. Well, that was fun. Thank you so much for letting me drive this thing. This thing is so cool. This is a dream car. This is something that I had. I had a hatch, a 91 five speed, um, but a US version. What color? white oh, sick. and I really loved it I loved it so much but at the time I needed the money and I had to sell it I sold it for $2,900 <laughs> dude and it had pretty low miles and it was in really good condition and I'm just so bummed that thing who knows how much that thing's worth now 12 grand probably 10 12 grand if it was a USDM I don't know, probably more than you think so <laughs> honestly 12. I mean from the market from what I've seen some of them yeah, are going are for 25 30 yeah so um yeah uh, but yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we can shoot some more of your build soon. Yeah, I'm going to do some donuts soon. So. Oh, perfect. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.